Hi, my name's Sherry. Welcome to my stamp studio. A couple of things before I start. One, it's Saturday and my husband is downstairs in the garage. He's actually building a cedar garden tray for me. Um, but he has no idea that I'm filming. Usually I go tell him so he doesn't bust in the house and say something loud or just um, sometimes he has his music on and so we may get serenaded. But I was too lazy to go down and let him know that I'm filming. So we could be in for an unexpected guest at some point during this. The second thing is the card that I'm going to do for you today is a quick one. And I'm using the Peony Garden Sweet Designer Series Paper. It's beautiful. Um, it's really, really pretty. The colors in it are petal pink, um, gray granite, and basic gray. And I wanted to remind you that at the in May, I took signups for a Try It class. I have loved, 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 loved. I can't stress how much I have loved putting this together. The thought behind it was I have done paper shares, ribbon shares, Try It clubs, all those things in the past. In the last couple of years, I stopped doing them because I heard back from so many people that they didn't use their stuff. And it's a lot of work for demonstrators to get all of the stuff and to cut it all up. And this year, we already knew because of COVID there were gonna be some back order issues. So to get it all in, it was gonna, it was just too much work. And I know that so many of you, when you get it, don't use it. But then at the, because of COVID, we had um, some of my demonstrator friends and I had done a last chance card class. And that was a way, because we hadn't been able to have people into our homes to use a lot of the stuff that we had accumulated because we had intended to do classes and then we couldn't have people, so we had stuff. So we designed classes with the stuff that we had but we can't send stamped images. So it was all focused on the paper and the embellishments that we had accumulated, thinking we were gonna use them when we had classes. So I thought I'm going to do that this year with the new things. So it's worked out really well. And what I have liked about it in the past, when I did paper shares and ribbon shares and, and, and I've never really shared embellishments, but I got it and I just cut it up. And so I didn't even really look at the paper because it's just a job to cut that paper up. But this year, my Try It class, um, they'll have 10 cards. So it, it closed and I'm actually almost ready to send it out. I have a couple more finishing touches and then I have to put all of the envelopes and all of the packets together, but half of it's cut. Um, but as I've been doing it, I ordered a couple more things and they'll be here after we get home from vacation because shipping's a little slow. So I do have enough that I, I have a few more spots that I'm opening up. And there is also an online only class where you get the PDF, which is fabulous. I'm really excited about the PDF for this um, class. The last chance one was good too. And so I've kind of learned from that. So this one's really good. And it's, it's card templates. So you'll get 10 templates that you'll be able to use forever based again on design, designer series papers and ways you can use them. But because now I have had to go through all 10 of our papers that come with a ribbon and an embellishment, like I've actually looked at them. So when I did the Peony Garden template, it's actually a faux trifold, I love it. And you get the little laced square doilies, you get some of the ribbon, you get a little strip of these beautiful, wait till you see these embellishments, and then you add your own stamps to them. But you get the little template that you'll always be able to use so I did want to let you know that I have a few spots that have opened up. So um, I'm cutting off the registration for those. I don't remember where it, when it is because, you know, dates. But I'll put the link down below. So there are a few more spots from that for that. If you sign up for the online version only, then you'll get that when I send out uh, the mailed ones to everybody else. So I wanted to let you know that that is available. And so then you get to see also, you don't get a whole sheet of anything, obviously, because it's not a true try it club. You're getting the class. But like when I use the Peony Garden, you get to see all of the stuff. Like I show you every sheet of the paper. So like now you're just going to see these two pieces because that's what I'm using. But in the class, you get to see it all. And some of the paper this year, like the, gar the whale paper, I probably never would have looked at each and every sheet of the whale paper. It is so much fun. That paper is so much fun. And that card, so much fun. And then as I've been um, doing it, when, you do, when we do card classes like this, I often recommend that you pull out a small sentiment stamp set and a small punch that will fit it. And so I pulled out and all the girls in the class are gonna be like, dang, now I have to have this because I pulled out this 
So this is what we're doing in today's card. It's the um, postage stamp bundle posted for you. And that's what we're gonna use on today's card because it has this fun little punch and it actually worked with other sentiments that I pulled out. I didn't just use it, I used the poppy one a lot. But I did end up using this punch a lot because I love the shape. It's a little postage stamp. And then I really, really liked, you'll see, th this was the first card that I did for the class. And this just happened to match the peony as well. But today we're going to use these little birds. And we're going to use this too. And the happy birthday. I always, I always love when there is a good stamp set with a good happy birthday sentiment. Because I find that's what most people use. So here's the um, peony paper that we're going to use this piece because now I'm down to kind of scraps until I get my next order in um is not the paper that's on the the original card I've done so you're gonna get a C2 and gray granite is my favorite color so then we just have some whisper white I'm not even using shimmering white on this card which is kind of shocking so fold this in half we have this sheet here I'm gonna show you a couple of paper saving techniques and also how to layer this postage stamp because there's only one size and I did want to layer it. And then we're going to have a faux front. So you're going to take this. This is very, very, very important. You're going to do this first before you stick anything on. So take your memento pad. And then we have our little bird stamp here. This is a sweet little vintage looking card. And stamp it like right about here. Because we know our paper is going to cover this up later. And there's no sense in wasting some more white paper when you know this is all going to get covered over. I'm going to go ahead and stamp this too. I'm going to put my happy birthday right here. And this is one of those where I'm like, oh, what sides of all this do I use? Because you could equally do a cute card this way, but I love this side. So that kind of made the decision for me. None of these have stickers yet because I was... To film, they get 10 videos or 10 cards in the class. So as I was filming those, um, it was not um, time conducive to keep sticking stickers on. But now we have this here. I'm just gonna slide my punch up in here and punch this. You're gonna die when you see how cute this is. Is that just not adorable? And so now we have this, which is going to be the back of our card. And nobody's ever going to know that you have a hole back there because it's going to all be mounted. So stop wasting your paper. Anytime you know that you're going to have a big old something cover it up, go ahead. Even if you're not going to use a punch on that card, punch some stuff out or die cut some stuff. So you're not always just wasting paper. It doesn't need to always be layered. So here's another tip for you. Because we know that this is going to be covered up, I'm just going to, because I'm going to glue this on here, I'm going to use this for my scrap paper. Because sometimes I don't have any scrap paper just laying around. So I have got my gray granite, and it has this little postage. And because I don't have the sticker, I have to see which direction goes up right. That's upside down. So I know this part over here needs to have some just kind of sticking out because that's where the, the edge of my paper is going to go. And now that I know it's right side up, it's not such a big deal. And they don't, I just don't want them to be upside, like all the way upside down because it says special delivery on both sides. So just kind of fill it up. You don't want them to all be in the same spot. Gray granite, it's, a, it's my favorite color of all of our colors. Here comes my husband. So see, I didn't even need any scrap paper because that's all gonna get covered up. So I'm a lazy stamper if you don't follow my channel very often. I do lots of little tips like that because you know, even finding some scrap paper or the little grid paper, if you don't have to waste it, don't waste it. So now we've got this, it's all gonna be covered up. So now let's make a little layer for this. So when we punch this, we're gonna end up with the same size, obviously, because it's the same punch. So punch two of them. You're going to need two. And the first one, you are going to cut this way. And then you don't want these little pieces right here. So get rid of all of those. Just take those little tops off. 
so you just have the edges. And then the stamp and seal has a, a couple of seconds of where you can reposition it. So it's a great adhesive to use for this because if you don't line it up right the first time, you're still good. So just lay it on here, which it's easier to do when you can put your head right over the top. So we've got that there. And move this one over here. So now you've got those. And then you're gonna do the same thing here. You don't need the sides, but you don't want those ones on the corner. So this time you're just gonna kind of V that in there. Okay, so you've snipped those out. So now you're gonna take this, because you, what you need is actually longer than what you have here. So put your adhesive on the bottoms of these. Just like that. And then you're gonna lay it here. Just like that. And then just pop your scissors under here and you can see you need that one right there. You'll be able to see. I'll try to zoom in on the video. Just like that. So see now you've got it perfect. So you have just the right amount of little postage punchy looky things. So there you go. And look, the seal, I don't really wanna pick it up cause that one's on there good. Let me see if I get this one on here, not good. But it does here, you have it on here and it has, it doesn't stick. It will eventually, but it gives you a nice amount of, um, oh gosh, I don't have it in the right place. Can I move this without ripping my design to shreds? Because you know, we have some of those adhesive. The Seal Plus is that adhesive. So if you got, if I did this and it was in the wrong place, then it's over. But the seal, look, I pressed hard and I can still move it. But after a couple minutes, I have found that it's set. But when you're doing something like this, or if you are um, one of those people who the first time on every card, because I know some of you, and it's okay, because math and straight and all that stuff is not my forte. If every single time you put a, a layer on the first time it's crooked, then the seal is for you. Okay, so there we go. So now we have it nice and, we have all those layers. I kind of whacked that one off a little bit because I'm not looking straight. Let's see if I can fix it. So let's just take a little piece of this. Got a tiny piece of seal. And then we'll just add the corner back that I cut off because I wasn't looking because I was talking. There we go. So that's an easy way to get a nice little layer behind that. And it's, you can make it so it's all the right dimension. It does leave you with a little bit of mess over here. Let me throw all this away. Okay, and then we are going to take this whole piece here. And you don't want to, here's another important tip. Do not stick this together. Because if you stick anything on here, if you do, put your adhesive on here and not on this because you don't want any adhesive sticking through the back of this. And ask me how I know that people do that because sometimes at camp we do that. Because then what happens if you have adhesive here and you stick this in here, you're gonna stick your whole design to this. And if you fused it or used glue or something, then it's going to make a hot little mess. So this is the textile folder, my new personal favorite. So just kind of lay it kind of where it's gonna go. It doesn't have to be perfect. cannot wait. If I knew the days, the number of days till our new machine came out, I would be counting them. But since we don't know for sure, I can't count. But what it does do, like, I'm sad that we can't get it yet, but it does give me time to get all of the stuff that is on my list in the catalog now. And then I will have worked my way through my wish list. And then the machine will be there and it won't have taken a bunch of my budget before. So now we can put all of this on here. I'm gonna put my seal. So let's stick this piece here. And again, this is where if you don't get this on straight with the seal, you have a couple of seconds to move it all around. Put this here, are these 
pretty color combination. It's nice and feminine. Okay, I'm gonna take this and I have the petal pink dark and the um, light granite. And this is not going to take any time to color. I just have my brush tip. I'm just gonna add a tiny bit. I don't even want it to be dark. So I'm just really brushing it over. The birds are gonna be petal pink and the leaves are going to be a quick swash of the granite. Literally just giving them a tiny bit of color. And then I'm gonna take the bullet tip to get my branches, which doesn't make them be a tad bit darker, but you don't wanna do it long because it'll run. And then the ribbon that comes with this paper. There are two embellishments that you get in the class because it does have the square doilies. I didn't add those to this because most of them are going off to people. But look how pretty this ribbon is. It is satin, I think. Shimmer. Shimmer ribbon. So we're going to do it. A little bow because we don't want a whole lot going on in this card because there already is a lot going. And we're going to add those beautiful... Um, gems in a second. So just do a little bit. I love the granite because brown, orange, green, the colors of fall, those are my colors. And this has a gray that has that nice little tinge of brown to it. So just tie a little knot down here. When you do a, a, just a knot bow, then you can kind of mess with it and pull the knot the direction that you kind of want it to go. So you can tell that one's gonna fling that way. So I'm gonna work with it and then have it so it goes that way. I don't want them to be too long. I'm just kind of trim those off. And you do want to make sure that you get, when you do your ribbon like this, that you get a little bit of adhesive over here to keep it from falling off the edge of your card. And these are all cut the length and width of the card. So this is four and a quarter and this is five and a half. I'm just going to add my little... Ugh. My angles when I do videos are not the best using the seal. I just don't have it yet. Mm, let's go here. And then here's the pretty, pretty, pretty elegant faceted gems. And so they come in clear, white, and then the petal pink. So let's put three of them on here. Let's go for a petal pink. A white and a clear and then I'm just gonna take my sh um, Stella just to give this card some shimmer it needs a little bit of a squeeze but you know there's always the danger when you squeeze it make our postage stamp be a little shimmery. This is one of these cards that's really super quick. It's just because I showed you those tips. So remember, punch your white out of the back. That'll save you the time for that. I mean, some paper. And then remember how to do your little postage stamps. I'm just adding a little bit of shimmer. And let, let me show you the other card that I've already finished because it does have some of the different paper. And then I also wanted to show you because I often do, so see this one has one of the white pieces of paper. It has the same little piece here. 
I kind of like it on the one that's the gray granite with the, the white flowers. I think this pops a little bit more. But this piece right here, a lot of times on my videos, I couldn't find this. And then when I moved something to clear up my space, um, I found my new Stella. And I didn't want to open a new one because I knew I had just opened one. And I like to have one Stella going at a time because a lot of you know that I use a ton. Like if you could see how many empty Stellas I have, I would guess that I probably have about 30. Um, and I use them for all kinds of things. And one is to paint with the Champagne Mist um, pigment paint. Um, and when you do it, it's almost the same color as the Wink of Stella. You can see this one, it has a little bit more of a gold tinge to it. The Stella is a little bit more clear. So this one added a little bit more gold to it. But then when I found my Stella, I like I didn't want the gold, but I didn't want to spend any more time looking for this and had just rolled behind my ribbon. See, I have this really, really pretty thing with all of the new ribbons in it. And it just rolled underneath it because I knew that I had just used it recently. And I was like, oh, maybe I, because you know who walks around when they like get the phone, a phone call or something with a pen in their hand and then like who knows where you laid it. And I'm like, I'm not spending any more time. I'll just use the champagne. But then when I saw it, it does make, not that I, I don't mind the gold because it does go with a little vintage. Um, but I do like the clear. So that's the card I have for you today. If you are interested in my Try It class, then you can look at the link down below the video or in my email or on my website. The link's everywhere. To sign up for it, you have to register. You have to go over to my website because all the registration inf information is there. Everybody have a great weekend. Bye.